Kevlar cows. So today I wanted to talk to you about an idea that Joseph and I formulated while we were both in high school navigating our way through the labyrinth of the American education system. And it is titled, as you guessed, Kevlar Cows, How to Become an Armor-Coated Bovine. So the gist of this idea has to do with how you, as an individual, interact with the systems in your life. Now you and I are surrounded by all kinds of systems, and some of these systems are good, and some of them are bad, and some of them are not the best, but the best thing we've got in the, in the short run. Take for instance traffic laws. There are laws about what kind of cars you can drive and how you can drive them, and those are laws that keep us safe. It's a system that surrounds us and that accomplishes specific ends. It restricts us, it constrains our actions for a good purpose. On the other hand, systems can also grow out of control and become destructive to human happiness. Take for instance the way that a totalitarian government will treat its citizens as expendable, as cogs in a machine to serve the higher purpose of the state, not as having value in themselves. So that's a case where the system kind of like destructively swallows up the individual. That's one of the things we want to avoid. So the question is, how are you going to come into contact with the system in such a way that you're not consumed by it and that you're not the crazy reactionary who's burning things down? So why, are, why is this strategy called being a Kevlar cow? If you can imagine the cows going through the slaughterhouse, the cow is the individual and the slaughterhouse is the system, right? Now, when the cow goes through the slaughterhouse, it's going to be able to be made into hamburger. And there's a few things we could say about this. We could say, well, the cow is fulfilling its purpose, right? It's being made into a delicious two patty cheeseburger that I'm going to eat this afternoon, and man, it's gonna be great. You could also say, well, no, what the cows should be doing is they should be gathering in the woods, gathering AK-47s, torches, and pitchforks, and preparing to storm the slaughterhouse, burn the whole thing to the ground, and establish a new era of bovine freedom. <laughs> We will fight for bovine freedom or die. In contrast, the Kevlar cow goes through the system, but as you may have guessed, he's wearing his Kevlar cow body armor. So he's able to go through the slaughterhouse without being killed. Are you kind of starting to get the picture? He's able to go through the system, and the system doesn't overcome him. His goals aren't swallowed up and consumed in the system, but neither does he decide to level everything to the ground and start afresh. He is able to pass through rather than evading entirely or submitting to. He cooperates. You create this kind of symbiotic relationship between you and the system. So how would this look in practice? Well, let's talk about education first of all. Let's suppose that you're going to college right now. There's certain constraints that that university system puts on you class schedules that you have to work within, assignments that your professors give, credit hour requirements, major and minor <coughs> lists of classes that you have to take. So here's the question, is how are you going to go to university in such a way as to also accomplish your own ends and not just get swallowed up inside the machine? Well, suppose you're a college student. There are certain constraints that the university puts on you in terms of the classes you have to take and the assignments you have to do in each of those classes. Have you ever stopped yourself and asked, well, what do I want out of my college experience? What are the skills that I want to have? How do I want to contribute to the academic dialogue? What kind of knowledge would it be important to gain? What kind of academic conversations do I want to be participating in? And what kind of network of people do I want to be tied into? I think if you go through it with consciousness, that that might be enough because things, I mean, you know, you can't necessarily go to a professor and be like, well, hey, I want to do a completely different set of assignments. That might work, that might not work, right? But what you kind of can do is, for instance, rather than seeing a paper as just something to do, think, okay, how can I write this paper on a topic that is a little more aligned with what I want to do? Let me zero this down to a particular case. There's a course that I was taking when I was doing my undergraduate degree. The course was about the history and theory of legal systems around the world. So how did I take that topic and turn it into something I was interested in? Well, one thing I'd been thinking about for a while is the nation state. I'd been reading about fourth generation warfare and the way that cultures can fight and not just states. What I did was I wrote a paper examining how legal systems might exist in a non-state environment. So my challenge to you today is to think about the systems you interact with and think about the ways that rather than fighting against those systems and rather than just kind of <clears throat> blindly doing whatever those systems say, how you can cooperate with those systems, create a symbiotic relationship, 
pass through them, accomplish your goals, and become the Kevlar cow. Hey everyone, I hope that this video was moving for you just like it was for me. If you liked it, hit subscribe, give us a like, and put in the comments how you are going to become a Kevlar cow.